put themselves forward, the horse trading that is going to go on, and one suspects that some people say to others, you can have my votes, you can have my support if I get a place in your cabinet. That's always going to be the case. And uh, uh, one of the uh, issues with the 2019 leadership election we hear is that uh, Boris Johnson was thought to promise a lot of things to a lot of people that might not have actually turned out to be true. And this is almost the curse of the front runner. What you get is a lot of people sort of uh, going for these sort of jobs and coalescing around who they think is most likely to get in. And no doubt there's some of that going on. But I think there's also... Uh, an interesting part, and we talk about horse trading, we might also want to talk about vote lending. Because of the eight candidates who made it through that nomination threshold of 20 MPs yesterday, only four of them have 20 or more public backers. The other four don't have 20 or more public backers. So either there are some MPs who are uh, backing them very, very privately, Or what might be going on is some larger campaigns are sort of lending votes through to other campaigns to try and knock out rivals uh, and and, uh, make the debate uh, more favourable to them, Mm -hmm. if you see what I mean. So there's definitely some tricks going on. One thing that I noticed yesterday as I attended Rishi Sunak's formal launch event at the QE2 centre, someone standing in the corner of the room there was someone who was working on Boris Johnson's 19 campaign, and that was Gavin Williamson, one of the great organisers yeah. of the Conservative Party, former chief whip, of course. So where is uh, Gavin Williamson now? Where with, is he? With, physically, yeah. in the world. I mean, um, he's, is he still an MP? He is still an MP. He's right. not, he hasn't been in the Cabinet uh, since he uh, resigned as Education Secretary. Yeah. Um, but he is uh, well known for uh, reading the runes, doing the numbers and crucially organising in terms of these campaigns. So the fact that such a competent organiser is behind Rishi Sunak uh, does uh, lend the, the analysis to the fact that this is Rishi Sunak's race to lose amongst MPs. I just-